Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready. This is Daniel White III with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 429. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines, which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First today, according to the Times of Israel, Israel is working on coordinating plans for a possible military strike with Saudi Arabia, with Riyadh prepared to provide tactical support to Jerusalem. The two countries have both united in worry that the West may come to terms with Iran, easing sanctions and allowing the Islamic Republic to continue its nuclear program. Some people believe that when Israel and Saudi Arabia has to join together against Iran, President Obama is simply not doing his job. According to the Sunday Times of Great Britain, Riyadh has agreed to let Israel use its airspace in a military strike on Iran and cooperate over the use of rescue helicopters, tanker planes, and drones. Second today, according to Haaretz, French President Holland arrived Sunday in Tel Aviv on his first official visit as head of state to Israel, which has welcomed Paris's tough stance in talks with Iran over its nuclear program. Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Perez received the large French delegation upon his arrival. President Allen declared that France takes Israel's position on Iran seriously, adding that his country will not cave in on this issue. He said, until we are sure that Iran is not developing nuclear weapons, we will not relieve sanctions. Third, today, according to Newsmax, American Jewish commentator Ben Stein has said that President Barack Obama's deeply naive premise that Iran would suddenly end its nuclear activities in exchange for an easing of sanctions that have crippled its economy for five years would make the annihilation of Jews possible. In an article published in the American Spectator, Stein wrote, Iran is the world's leading state sponsor of terror. Some of their leaders have boasted that if Iran gets nuclear weapons, Iran will have a holocaust in an afternoon by rocketing a few nuclear weapons into Israel. He pointed out that the problem with Iran is that it has made promises in the past which it has not kept, and that it still has not given international inspectors access to its most secretive nuclear sites. Fourth today, according to Israel National News, a video offering a rare look at the Al-Qaeda-linked rebel groups operating in Syria offers some of the most compelling evidence yet of the involvement of Western citizens in the country's ongoing civil war. The new footage raises fears over the threat posed by these radicalized Muslims towards Western countries. The day after the Syrian conflict, video released by Vice News shows Westerners who have joined Islamic militants in Syria who are fighting to establish a Muslim caliphate not only in the Middle East but in the United States and Europe. The fighters promise to raise an Islamic flag over the White House and to use Syria as a launching pad to attack and take over Jerusalem and Israel. 
fifth today, according to Israel National News, President Shimon Peres is warning that if Iran manages to build an atomic bomb, other countries in the Middle East could follow suit. The warning was made in an interview Perez gave to a French weekly newspaper as the French president was on his way to Israel. Perez said, We are convinced that if Iran manufactures its bomb, all the countries of the Middle East will want to follow suit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 3, verses 20 and 21, And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heavens must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Ladies and gentlemen, our second coming quote for today is from J.B. Phillips. God has allowed us to know the secret of his plan, and it is this. He purposes in his sovereign will that all human history shall be consummated in Christ, that everything that exists in heaven or earth shall find its perfection and fulfillment in him. And here is the staggering thing that in all which will one day belong to him, we have been promised a share. Indeed, that is staggering. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you are not ready for the return of Jesus Christ, may I encourage you, my beloved, to get ready, get ready, get ready today by receiving him as your Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live forever with him in heaven. Pray and ask him to come into your heart right now today, and he will save you. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Don't